seven and it is loud. Cone pressured throws across the middle and completes it right near midfield. And that is Quintez Cephas who is a big story for this Wisconsin team. His first catch in a long time and it's a Badgers first down. Absolutely. Quintez Cephas is one of the best route runners that they have one of the best athletes that they have and his contribution is going to be down conversion across midfield Wisconsin's offense with the ball first in this game on the move now that was a nice throw from Jack Cohn and a play fake he'll dump it short to a wide open target that's the fullback Chanel and John Chanel barrels forward for a first down that was a positive play first and ten Jonathan Taylor in the backfield is going to get the ball again and Jonathan Taylor out into the open there he goes the first touchdown of the year for number twenty three. Thirty seven yards. You see the common theme show up already. It's already talked about the fact that Cole Van Lannan the left side of this offensive line is where Wisconsin is going to want to live tonight. And how many times have you seen them trying they were poking and prodding the left side of the offensive line and he finally breaks one exactly what South Florida couldn't afford to have happen. That was an impressive first drive of the year. Eight plays, 70. I think they would like to do a little more of it. Barnett pressured, and the ball is up in the air and picked off. The Wisconsin defense is going to score. Matt Henningsen snatched it out of the air. The on the field is an interception return for a touchdown. Whether it's an interception or a fumble, it's a touchdown, Badgers. That's this tremendous get up on the outside by Zach Vaughn again beating Billy Atterbury the former starting right guard moved out to left tackle for this season and that was the matchup that Wisconsin Badgers were hoping they could exploit. Vaughn is a stud. He's a guy who has speed who has. Second and four a play fake and a receiver wide open Cone delivers the ball. That's Kendrick Pryor has been active in the first half first down and much more inside the 40 close to the 35. And that's what South Florida badly needs some kind of big play Taylor is going to get the ball in the passing game and there's the speed cutting it upfield out into the open Taylor touchdown all he needs is a little room and this is what they talk about getting him involved in the passing game on first and second down and not necessarily just on third down, which is where you always expect teams to throw the football, especially in third and medium situations. Just get him the ball out in the flat and let him do his thing. And there, we just talked about the fact that Mike Hampton needed to come up with that interception. Now you see what happens. You don't turn the ball over, give your offense a shot. Now you let Jonathan Taylor get out there on the perimeter one-on-one -on -one against your perimeter players. And it's over. Gave him a gain. Not much, but maybe a half a yard. Barnett throws again and that one tipped up and intercepted on the deflection another turnover Wisconsin comes up with the ball Eric Burrell the junior safety and that one was easy but it's starting to rain here at Raymond James Stadium the ball's a little bit slick Wisconsin knows that you have to throw the football you're down three scores the defensive backs are playing with a lot of confidence. This is just not setting up well for Blake Barnett. And it's really not his fault. And Taylor has room to work. That's where they get themselves in trouble. Well, what did we say? They had 18 negative rush plays all of last year in 13 games. They've got three in the first half of this game. That's a nice delivery, but the ball's on the turf. And scooped up by South Florida. I think whistled out of bounds. So the play is dead. KJ Sales came up with the ball. It was Jake Ferguson, the tight end, who had it. Patrick Macon, the middle linebacker, put the hit on to strip the ball away. I'm sure Wisconsin is wondering was it a catch? Did he have it? Was it a fumble? But I think it was. Yeah, Macon continuing to show up here as far as making plays on the ball. This is a nice, easy throw. You know, weather is starting to play a factor. You see. 
that Ferguson has the ball in his left hand and that injured hand, and maybe he can't secure the ball the way he normally would, but that's a great fundamental tackle. This is the kind of break that South Florida needed. Now they have good field position. Now they got the running backs. It's third and four. Taylor not on the field for this third down play. Groshek in the backfield. He's going to get the catch with a blocker out in front. Up field for the first down and more outside the 40. Well, Logan Bruss, the big right tackle, held his block and made it pretty. Seconds on the clock. Cohn from the pocket throws short and the pass. Taylor stretches. He got there. Touchdown. What an effort from Jonathan Taylor. He never had a receiving touchdown in his career. Now he's got two on the first night of 2019. I thought that was disaster when he threw the ball and Taylor made it work. That's a tremendous job by Jonathan Taylor. They had him split out wide, they had an empty formation. You know when they had gone empty like that and they had Jonathan Taylor in the game, why else would they put him out there unless they were trying to get the ball to him? And again, that's just the quarterback's best friend. When you have a receiver, you can throw a short pass to, and then he can break two tackles like this and punch it in. That's how you get your completion percentage up. That the other team, basically the opposite. Second and one with Taylor in the backfield. Wisconsin's looking to put this game away. What a move. Taylor, there's the speed. Jonathan Taylor, off he goes. Another touchdown. And that, in its own way, was pretty spectacular. His fourth touchdown of this game. It puts him well over 100 yards rushing. That one 38 yards. That's been his distance in this game. 37 yard run, 36 yard pass, now a 38 yard run. Fourth touchdown for Jonathan Taylor. The run play that they ran to the left behind Van Lannan just two plays ago, they just came back and repeated it and ran it to the right. Same formation, just pull the left guard this time, have the tight end line, line up left, pull right. They just run up confidence in his wide receivers and see if they can come up with some plays. Let's see what they do on fourth and one. They hand the ball off, and that's not going to work. The ball's yet. out. He wasn't going to get there anyway. The ball got poked out. And this Badgers defense looks like a different unit. I, I know USF is a new system. They're struggling. They're making mistakes. But Wisconsin's playing some D tonight. Absolutely. With their front seven, you see them resetting the line of scrimmage right there at the point of attack. I mean, you, you just see it. I mean, 59 Tyler Johnson coming inside getting underneath that pull block. I mean when you're winning at the point of attack like that fourth and two smooth easy execution nice easy 30 yard field goal. I say easy. I'm not the one kicking it. <laughs> but nevertheless that's what it should be. This should be a nice smooth operation. Good snap. Good hold. Kick is pushed. No good. And see that that's the kind of thing I'll tell you what even in a game like this. That's yeah. tough right there. The ones who have left, but I heard some boos. And they're going to fake the punt and try to get there. That did not end well. Mike Mascalunas came over and basically just clotheslined the punter. That wasn't Trent Schneider, that was Spencer Schrader. Look, if you're going to give your team a chance to go for it. Line the game. First down, Wisconsin. Just keep your offense on. Exactly. Field. Let your best ball carriers, the guy who are used to, the guys who are used to running the football, taking hits, let them give it, you know, take a shot at it. Let Kerwin continue to work his offensive system because you still have a lot of. But I think it is still a valid question for this team. As good as they have looked overall, they got a chance to be a great team this year. Watson breaks one for a touchdown. The same plays over and over. They just flip the formation, run it left. Hey, let's run it right. Hey, let's run it left. No, let's run it right. This is a very fundamentally sound football team, Dave. They know who they are. They know exactly who they are. And that's right now what is plaguing South Florida. They don't know what they are. They don't know what they've got. They don't know who they can believe in. They don't know anything right now. And Wisconsin is showing you the difference in terms of where they're at as far as a program is concerned. 41 to nothing. Nakia Watson, a guy that they really like. As a young running back getting a chance to play. Keep on it. Just keep throwing the football. See what you got. One thing is the pressure has been so immediate. Is that Ugh. pass intercepted? It was taken away by Wisconsin. Colin Wilder with the pick. And with that, we'll go back to studio. Was that 
Yeah, he gave Graham Mertz all he can handle as far as the quarterback competition behind Jack Cohn so far in training camp or in training camp that just completed for Wisconsin. So he's earned his playtime here late in this football game. Yeah, this would tell me. And yeah, just, even and put just, a block on. Absolutely. How about that? To spring at Bradrick Shaw for a touchdown. And that one's got to feel good for a guy who took a long time to get back from a serious injury. And his quarterback helped him out with a block. Well, Chase Wolf, you'll see him here coming to coming to your screen as the running back changes direction. And just watch him. He's just really trying to get in the way. <laughs> he takes it on the chin a little bit. But you know what? That's teamwork, baby. That's teamwork. That's how you do it. And that guy, they'll love you for that in the film room. They're going to get on you, but they'll love you for it. You get the bus of both worlds. You can make funny a little bit.